everybody. Welcome to the Higher Skies Travel Agency. My name is Ocean. What's your name? Oh, well, it is so lovely to meet you. That's a wonderful name. It really suits you. Yeah, of course. Nice to meet you. How can I help you today? Oh, well, you've come to the right place. That's quite literally my job. Have you ever traveled with us before? No? Okay, well that'll just make you an account here with us. Won't take too long, don't worry. Can I just get your first and last name, please? Okay. And then your email address. out there. I'm sure you want to escape that. Escape the city. Yeah. Okay. So we have that information. And then we can always add a credit card to your file later. Okay. Um, are you a part of any memberships, any clubs? Do you have air miles? Are you like in Air Canada, 50 flyer mile, anything like that? No, a new traveler. Not to worry. Well, I will be here to help you travel the world then. Okay. And you'll start collecting points, and then you can use those to redeem for flights and whatnot. Yeah. Okay. So, where exactly are you looking to travel? Switzerland. I've heard that's absolutely beautiful. I actually have helped a couple people plan their trips there. Yeah. Oh my goodness, they've absolutely loved it. I mean, if you are looking to escape the city and you're looking to really immerse yourself in nature, culture, Switzerland is just absolutely stunning. I've heard people who've traveled to many places say it's the most beautiful place on earth that they've been. Mm. Of course, to each their own, but just sharing experiences. I'm so jealous. Okay, so Switzerland, definitely. And when are you looking to leave? Okay, that's pretty soon. <laughs> well, we will definitely then get working on this. Um, and how long are you looking to stay there for? About 20 days. That's a good amount. Enough to explore. Are you looking to visit any of the neighboring countries? Potentially, we can see what's in the budget. Speaking of, what is your budget for this trip? That's a good amount. Okay, you've been saving for this for a while. That's a great amount. We can definitely put something amazing together with that. Okay. I have um, files for every country, of course, and we can pull from there some activities and everything. Okay. Let's see here. Switzerland, there we go. Okay. So, starting off with the map, I think that. people choose to travel, like the route. 
So they usually like to start in Geneva. You can either work your way up through Switzerland or you can work your way through down through Switzerland. So we can see what flights are cheaper, whether it's here to Geneva or here to Zurich. Also, um, please, my pronunciation isn't amazing with these, so just bear with me. Um, so we can see what's cheaper in terms of flights, although you do have a great budget, but I'd rather we save on flights and we can put that money towards accommodations and activities. What do you think? And you haven't mentioned anyone else. I'm assuming this trip is just for yourself. As of right now. Okay, are you planning on adding someone? Okay. Well, if you could please confirm that within the next, you know, by the end of the week. Because we'll need to start looking into accommodations and whatnot and just pricing. Okay, we really don't have too much time. So, I'd rather we can pull that all together with the proper amount of people so I know what I'm looking for exactly. Thank you. Okay. So, we can, if we're starting in, let me just do a quick search right now of flights which are cheaper. To Geneva and then to Zurich. Okay. Economy. Might as well. Okay. And are you comfortable with any airline or do you have a preference? Okay, yeah. I prefer them too. <laughs> you get a meal too, which is nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So, looking at that. So, I think our best bet would be this flight. You have one layover. Um, in Iceland, actually. Yeah, just for a couple hours, but it, that's the best price I think that we're gonna get, especially for the time that you're going, because you're going in prime tourist season, which is fine, but prices are a bit higher. So I would recommend we do that flight there to Geneva, okay? Yeah. So, you would then... You're looking to see the whole country, right? I mean, you have 20 days, you might as well make the most of it. Yeah, go all around. Okay, so we'll do then. Let me pull out that photo for you again. So we'll start in Geneva, and then we can go to Zermatt, okay? And then we can work our way up to Interlaken. Interlaken. Do you have any specific spots where you want to visit 100%? Was one of them. It's absolutely gorgeous there, yeah. Okay. Um, we could definitely work that in if you want. Instead of flying out of Zurich, you could make your way all the way back down. So you would start with Geneva, Zermatt, work your way up to Interlaken. Lucerne is a great place to stop as well. In Zurich, and then instead of flying out of Zurich and ending your trip there, you could go all the way back down to Lugano and stay there for a few days. Now, if you really want to go to Lugano, I would also recommend Italy is so close, and you could do a couple days in Lake Como. Have you ever seen Lake Como? Oh my goodness, let me pull up a few photos for you. It is, hot, like, it looks out of a painting. It's absolutely gorgeous. I mean, just take a look there. Right? Absolutely stunning. I mean... Mm -hmm. Beautiful. So, would you like to work that in? I think so. Yeah. If it was me, <laughs> I think definitely. Okay. So, let's plan that. Let me write down your itinerary. I know that some people can get caught up in this and don't get me wrong, I definitely know what I'm doing, this is my job, but if at any point you want to change anything, let me know, okay? 
this is, of course, at the end of the day, your trip. I'm just here to help plan and take away that stress. And then after this, I'll look at specific pricing and booking and all of that for you. But if at any point you want to add something, like for example, Lugano, you really want to go there, interrupt me. <laughs> okay. So I'll start off in Geneva and we found that flight, which is good. Great. And then we'll work our way. Zermatt, Interlaken, and Zurich, and then Lugano, and make a ferry over to Lake Como. You can either fly into Milan and do Lake Como through there if you want to see Milan for a day, um, or you can just kind of ferry over because it's pretty close. Great. So then we can start looking at activities. Is there anything that you specifically want to see? I mean, you picked Switzerland, so I'm sure for many reasons. So what do you want to go and see in Switzerland? Mm, okay. Definitely. So that's perfect. Then we can start there. So the Chateau du Chenon, you can actually just do a day trip from Geneva and visit that castle. Day trips, we can see here from around 250 Canadian, of course. This is all Canadian prices. Um, so you can do a day trip and visit that castle. It's beautiful, um, gorgeous interior. And what they'll do is they'll also like take you around the town as well. It's a nice day trip. Great way, to, great way to start off the trip. Okay, so Chateau de Chalon. So we'll start there. And how long are you looking to stay in each spot? I mean, just based off of the 20 days, I'm thinking we do about two to three days in each spot. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. So right now, we'll see you which spots actually have the most activities that we want to do and maybe you only want to spend two days in one spot and four days in another okay so let's get rid of that get rid of that good so chateau de chenon then what are we looking to do is there anything else that you really want to see mm -hmm. okay so that would be all the way in Interlaken, but we can add it now. So you want to go and see Lake Brands. Yeah, Lake Brands is absolutely beautiful. So let's just look here. I'm assuming you want to do a boat tour. Cruise, okay. Oh my goodness, I'm so jealous. Lake Brands cruise, okay. Hmm. about a hundred. Not much at all for the day. Beautiful. Wow. Okay, so we can plan that. So let me add that into Interlaken. So you want boat, cruise of Lake Brienne's. Yeah, most people definitely want to visit there. It's beautiful. Okay, now is there any other spot specifically? I mean, you really wanted to go to Lugano? So what would you like to do there? Oh, I've never heard of that. Let me see. What's Lido? Lido di Lucano? Okay, let me look. I've never heard. Oh, that sounds lovely. Okay, Lido di Lucano. Oh, okay. So it's like beaches and pools. Very comfortable. Okay, great, more relaxing. Nice, okay. 
you know what, that's a great way to finish off the rest of the trip if you're doing hiking and whatnot. Lay at the beach all day. Okay, so let's do Lido de Lugana. And are you looking to do anything specifically there or just kind of lounge by the pool? Yeah, okay. Well then, I'll take a look and see if there is any passes that you need to get into those pools. everything set of specifics that you want to see and visit, I can definitely give some recommendations and I'll share this itinerary with you. I'll email it to you so that over the next couple days you can go over everything, see the options, add stuff to it, take away any of that, okay? Um, and also I'll get, I'll get looking into restaurants as well. Do you have any dietary restrictions? Restaurants can be really tricky, um, so can accommodations, just that's usually what people find the most stressful. Planning activities is usually pretty fun, but finding the Airbnbs, the hotels for decent prices, also near places that you can eat in terms of being celiac, gluten-free options, I will, I can definitely help with that because that's the most stressful, so I'll do that. Now, do you have a preference whether you stay in a hotel or Airbnb? Do you like Airbnbs? Definitely, okay. Preferably a bed and breakfast, okay. Now, if the bed and breakfast, they might not have specific celiac meals. It might just be more of like, um, kind of a continental. That's fine, okay. now because that's the most fun to talk about and then I'll look at um, accommodations. So starting off in Geneva we have the Chateau de Chillon which is a day trip and then I think you just also take a day to go around the promenade. You can try out a few of the restaurants, um, just immerse yourself in the culture for the first day or two. Yeah, okay. Moving on to Zermatt, I mean yeah I think you have to visit the Matterhorn. I think that is um, a must, a Switzerland must. Yeah, okay. So you can actually book a tour of that, a hike. And you can take um, a gondola and everything. Mm -hmm. Now, also in Zermatt, I would recommend doing the suspension bridge. Have you heard about that? So this is the longest pedestrian suspension bridge in the Alps. Yeah, so I think we should add that to the list. It's pretty cool. And sorry, are you looking to do more hiking or are you looking to do more just like What would you say your comfort level is in terms of hikes? Intermediate? Okay, amazing. Um, and now, what's this? Let's see if this would interest you. This is really cool. So this is the Grimselwelt. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, so basically, a trip of the Galmer Bond is an experience like no other with a turquoise mountain lake awaiting you after rattling 12 minute trip backwards up the mountain. So basically, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, you take this roller coaster type um, seat up the mountain and then you go and see the lake. It's absolutely beautiful views. If you're someone who's terrified of heights, this might not be as much for you, but I think it's Now, you can actually do this from a 
um, Sir Matt, but you can also do it from Lucerne. It's actually faster to do it from Lucerne. Sure, we can add it in both and you can see what you have time for and see if you really want to do it. Okay. Okay, amazing. So, Switzerland's a pretty small country. I mean, if even their train from, um, let's see here, from Zurich to Lugano is only a few hours. It's really not. But, and so you could train and do day trips. It's up to you, really. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Now, on to Interlaken. So we did the Lake Brands cruise. And then I also think that you would love the... Um, Grind Grindelwald first cliff walk. Have you heard of that? Okay, let's take a look here. So, um, the first cliff walk in Grindelwald, it's absolutely beautiful. Um, it's a, I mean, gorgeous scenery as you can see. It's stunning, absolutely stunning. Um, really immerse yourself in nature. In the Alps, it's the best views. Now, you can also do a first glider, which is like, if you'd be interested in this, you can glide across, which is really cool, um, if you'd want to do that. Or you can do a first flyer, which is basically like, uh, you feel like flying, it's crazy. Let's read it. Air, nothing but air, above, below, to the right, left. Being on the first flyer is easy. Freedom is limitless and the pace is high. Perfectly secured in the stable harness, up to four persons whiz along the 800 meter long steel cable from first um, at a top speed of 84 kilometers per hour. In some places, they hover approximately 50 meters above the alpine meadows, fully airborne. So it is crazy. <laughs> I mean, I think if you heights and the thrill, the adrenaline, this is for you. Yeah, let me add this. You can look more into it and see if you'd prefer to do the first glider, the first flyer, or both. The glider is actually, you're like laying down, like gliding like a bird. The first flyer, you're sitting in a harness. So you can see which one you prefer. But I'll add both, of course. You can also visit, if you'd like, the ocean and lake and panorama, panorama hike. It's absolutely beautiful. It's a pretty big hike, um, but it's absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, definitely. I'll add it to the list and you can take a look. Um, but it's so beautiful. Blue water. Yeah. yeah. Similar to Lake Brands. So, pardon me. Yeah, so here, let's just look. Oh, what is there to do other than hike? Um, okay. Okay, so actually, I was confusing it with another hike that I wanted to show you. So this hike isn't bad at all if you want to go see ocean and lake. Yeah, it's not bad. Um, so easy to get to. You can walk along the shores. You can rent a rowing boat, have a drink at one of the restaurants. Um, there's also a gondola and an alpine coaster, which is like a summer toboggan. So this one has some really fun activities. You've seen that toboggan on TikTok? Yeah. Okay, let's add this one then if you've seen it. Yes, in Switzerland. Yeah, some people get it confused with other spots, but it is in Switzerland. We can 
you liked the pool, so let me see what else is similar to that. <clears throat> you could visit the Lorelei Bathtub Island. Um, those are really beautiful. You can see here, it's really calming and really pretty. You could just spend a day at the beach at the Bathtub Islands. Yeah, okay. Especially after all those other activities. Okay, and then we can do... <laughs> What's this one? Okay, so then you can do the Mount Pilatus Golden Round Trip Boat Cruise plus Mountain Excursion. If you want to do a mountain hike, I'd really recommend this one because it's nice. You get an all-in-one. You get like cable car, you get a gondola, you get a boat cruise, you get a hike, you get it all. An all-in-one day trip. Yeah, okay. So let me add that. And like I said, you can add stuff to this list after as well. Okay. I think that's enough time in Lucerne to do a couple days. Moving on to Zurich, there's lots to do in Zurich, so I think we schedule more time. to in Zurich in terms of free activities as well. You can visit the botanical gardens, you can visit the Gia Comitelli Hall, which is really pretty. You can also visit the Villa Patamba Park, which has beautiful flowers. And these are free activities. <coughs> yeah, so Zurich has some of the best restaurants, best bakeries, so I would definitely grab a bite to eat and wander around the villa, the gardens, whatnot. Take a day. Um, and then if you want to do a big hike, this one is amazing. So this is the Alpmora hike. Okay. So this one, mm -hmm, the hike takes about three hours there and back. So it's about a six hour hike. So it is a lot. Um, but it is beautiful. If you don't feel like hiking, you can take the bus and then it's only an hour and a half. Do you want to do the hike? Yeah. So, at the top of the hike, you get to these, um, like, baths at the top with these gorgeous sceneries. So, bathing in the glacial mills. It's beautiful. The pools do warm up somewhat in the summer, but are not for the faint-hearted. Quick leap into the crystal clear water is marvelously refreshing. The pictures look amazing. Beautiful, right? Okay, so let's add this. This is a big hike. So I think if you're going to Switzerland, this is a great hike to do a big one. Okay, amazing. Now, other activities in Zurich. You can visit the museums. Not a big museum person. Okay, then let's see what else. Are you interested in like thermal baths and a spa? The spa might be nice after that hike. Yeah, okay. Then this is a great wellness retreat in Zurich. You can do the Roman Irish spa ritual, which is surrounded by beautiful views. That would be nice. Okay, well how about I just make a note to look into some spa. wellness retreats. Okay. Okay, and then what's this? This is the well and see day trip. This is really pretty. So, this is a day trip from Zurich to Lake Wallen. Again, another beautiful crystal blue lake. Absolutely stunning. Yeah. See all the crystal blue water that you can while you're there, right? Waterfalls too. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me add this then. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, let me just take a look here. Now, we also will definitely want you visit Stobach Falls. 
Stovac Falls is the one that you mostly see on like TikTok and everything. Um, that one, yeah. Mm -hmm. People love that one. So I would definitely recommend that. And you can visit that out of Lauterbrunnen. Yeah, out of Lauterbrunnen. And that one we can add in Lucy. Either Interlaken or Lucerne. Let me see what's easier. Okay. Interlaken or Lucerne. Okay, amazing. Now, last but not least, we'll do Oh the Lugano. Lugano, we already did the baths for, so we're good there. Um, okay. And then moving on to Lake Como. So Lake Como, you can ferry around to the different villages and it's absolutely beautiful. Um, the ferries are all really cheap and really easy to access. So you can, I would recommend staying in Verena. And then you can go to the Bellagio, Menagio, Tremezzo, Leno, all of those different cities and they're absolutely beautiful. Verena is just the best place to set up in my um, in my opinion, because it's a great central spot, and also it's cheaper than some of those other ones. Yeah, let me show you for right now. Right there. Yeah, very colorful. It's absolutely beautiful. Mm. Okay, sounds good, but we'll set you up there then. We will have you fly home from Milan. Okay. From Milan. Amazing. Well, I think that that's an, a great itinerary starting off. Um, like I said, I will share this with you and we can add to it, take away whatever you'd like. Take some time to think about the activities. And in the meantime, I will look at restaurants options as well as accommodations for you, okay? And then we can start booking things once we've finalized. Does that sound good? Okay, amazing. I actually just have another client coming in in a few minutes, so I'll just end the meeting here, but it was so lovely to meet you, and I'm so excited to be planning your trip. It's going to be absolutely beautiful, and I'll give you a call um, once I've kind of cleaned up the dock a little bit, and send that over to you, okay? Sounds good. It's my pleasure. I absolutely love this. This is literally my job. just around the corner. Oh, I absolutely love Iceland. You're gonna have the best time. Okay, let's go over some details.